In this video we'll talk about a new control type in the UX component called the button list. The button list uh, which is shown here uh, on this uh, sample component is a great new control type for mobile applications but it's also really nice for uh, desktop applications as well. So a uh, button list is a list of buttons that uh, is designed so that it looks like a single control. So you can see here this is a button list with three choices and the button list can be configured to either allow a single selection or multiple selections. So right now you can see when I click on red it shows as depressed but then when I click on green um, since this particular button list is configured as a single selection then red becomes unselected and green becomes uh, selected. So the button list can also be configured to display either horizontally or vertically as it is in this case over here. The button list itself can basically have um, uh, icons so in this case here we've got an icon above the button list and uh, the button list can be populated by doing a query against a uh, table. So you can see here we've done a, a query against a SQL table against the um, categories table from Northwind to get a list of uh, categories. And also the button list is just like any other control so it's bound to a variable and uh, when you set the value in the uh, button list the the uh, UX component goes dirty and then when you submit that value will get submitted. So if I go here back to working preview we can see here that the dialog the UX component is not dirty but when I make a selection and then let's just go and select uh, a bunch of fields there and then go and submit and then look inside e.data submitted we can see that each one of those uh, button list controls has uh, submitted a value just as any other uh, data bound control would do so just in the same way that a text box or a radio button etc can uh, submit a value so does the button list so let's go back now to design mode and look at how we uh, created this uh, these button lists here so in the list of available controls you can see there's a new control type there called button list so let's go look at the first button list so this button list was um, bound to a variable called BL1 it was set to display in a horizontal mode and we set the style to be text only so the various styles that we can choose are text only, image only, text followed by image image followed by text, image above text and uh, text above image and then we turned off uh, allow multiple selection um, and then we specified that the method for defining the buttons was going to be the button builder so when we bring up the button builder you can see here we can define as many buttons as we want so these are buttons that are being defined right now at uh, design time and so for each button you can specify the button name the text that appears on the button the value that will be set in the variable uh, when that uh, button is pressed so if you don't specify a value then that value will be the same as the button text and then any arbitrary help that you'd like to um, specify to appear over the button when the mouse is over the button so obviously that's only for a desktop um, application so in this case we've got three buttons and the buttons say red, green and blue and because we've got allow multiple selection turned off we only could select one button at a time so let's go back there and just turn that one on so this button was the same excepting that we had set the orientation to vertical then on this button we had specified image above text and if we go into the builder we can see here that for each uh, button we've specified an image and we can also specify the hover pressed and uh, disabled icons as well if we choose to and then finally for this uh, button instead of uh, using uh, as we did here the button list builder we've gone here and we've selected uh, data series so let's pause now and take a look at how the data series was defined for this button list so we're continuing uh, to look at the uh, button list and now we're looking at this uh, fourth button list and the method for populating this button list was defined as a data series so let's go now to where data series are defined so we go to properties and then data series and we can see we've defined one data series called series one which is a SQL query so if we go edit this we can see we're doing a SQL query 
against the um, uh, Northwind uh, connection, the Northwind database. We're choosing data from the cust from the categories table, and we're choosing the category ID and the category name. So we're choosing two columns uh, from the uh, uh, categories table. So this data series now is going to have um, one row for each category, and then it's going to have in each row it's going to have the category name and the category ID. So now let's go back to our controls and then we can see now that um, after we've uh, chosen the data series as the method we now go to data series mapping and we can map um, the data series to the various uh, properties of the button list that we need to uh, configure. So for the text on the uh, but on each button we've chosen we go here and we say OK and we choose the category name but then for the value we've gone here and we've chosen the category ID so um, we could also specify for each um, button what the help text would be and then if we had chosen a style a button style that's that allowed images there would be additional prompts here asking us to asking us to map values from the data series uh, back to the icon, the pressed icon, the hover icon, etc. So let's go now and run this and uh, recall that we also changed uh, the first op option here to allow multiple selections. So you can see red and green are selected right now. And there's um, the uh, fourth button list being populated dynamically by executing a SQL query against the uh, categories table from Northwind. So um, what you can see here is that button lists provide a great um, way of, uh, uh, especially for mobile applications, of uh, prompting for information and that they behave just like any other data control. They have set value and get value methods just like a text box does and they can also be put into repeating sections. So if I go uh, over here and go to my containers and then go to container and put a repeating section around that first button over there when I go now to uh, working preview I see basically um, I see the uh, button list in the repeating section and if I go add new rows there's the button so um, next what I'd like to do in the next video is show a very practical use of uh, the button list to select um, uh, content on the page much like Apple an iOS app uh, is designed to show tab controls. So let's pause now and then pick this up in the next video.